All right, people, let's do this. So uh, what I'm going to show you is the one trick uh, on the graphing settings. So it's around the LSS. Okay, so just quick stuff about the LSS. Uh, the LSS is deep learning super sampling from NVIDIA, which is an AI technology. And what it does basically is it takes your game, reduce the resolution, re-upscale it to some random wishy-washy and supposed to help you uh, to get better performance, basically. Okay, so that's the LSS. Now, the thing is, when we use the LSS is Microsoft Red Simulator 2020 or 2024. Uh, the first thing we do notice is the game gets blurry, right? Especially when you try to read uh, your instrument on a glass cockpit airplane, the text and everything, you know, gets blurry. And even when you go outside, you can see the plane is kind of blurry and stuff around. We're going to try to fix that and uh, then to keep some performance as well. Now, before we go further, I did not try this on a 3000 series RTX or 2000 series. I do have a 4090 and it will work for any 4000 series. But for any people that have 3000, 2000, try this and let me know in the comment if it works for you. And if it works, that's cool. So before we do any modification, we have to do something first. We have to check uh, the version of the DLSS that we use. So how do we do that? You have to download a little program. The name is DLSS Swapper. I'll put the link in the description. Basically what it is, is you have a library of all the DLSS version. The latest one is on the top. And then you can apply that to your game if the one you use is outdated. So here, games, uh, it should detect your SIM. So if you have the 2020 or 2024, uh, both will show up. Now here, if you check the DLSS version on the 2020, this is 2020 on the left, uh, it showed 3.8.10, okay, which is the latest one. And 2024 use older version. Normally, 2020 use a older version as well, but I already did the update for this one. 2024, I did the update as well, but this is the thing you need to keep in mind. Every time Microsoft will run an update of the sim, it will revert back the version of the LSS. So you're going to have to uh, update it again. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to update the DLSS of the 2024 because it's outdated. So if you have both, you can, you can do that for both. It's the same step. So how do you do that? Go to the library, then you first make sure you download the latest version of uh, the DLSS, so which is 3.8.10. Okay, so you click on it, it's a pretty fast download. So once it's completed, you go back to games, you click once on the 2024 uh, picture, you click on 3.8.10 and you swap it. Right now, I get an error message. Why? Because the game is running. So make sure your game is not running when you do it. So that's the thing. Now, once you're done updating your DLSS file, you are now ready to apply the one trick setting. But before we do that, let's take a look of what we got first before the, the modification. Uh, so we're gonna use the LSS and uh, we're gonna use the, we're gonna start with the ultra performance. So ultra performance, it's really good FPS wise. It will make your sim really smooth, but the rendering is pretty bad. Uh, it's very, very blurry. By the way, as you can see as well, I use the LSS frame gen, which help a lot. Uh, 4000 series has it natively, but if you have a 3000, uh, there's a lot of uh, YouTube tutorial or you can add it. I would suggest you to add it if you want. Okay, so let's take a look quickly on how the DLSS high performance shows up. You can see it's very, very blurry. It's hard to read the data. Now, usually we most of people will use this distance uh, when they fly the plane and it's very blurry. So for you to read it, you have to zoom in. Okay, and then if you watch outside, you can see that it's the, the resolution of it's, it's low. It, it, it's not the best, right? But don't get me wrong, it, it's really smooth, very smooth very very smooth even inside very smooth but the thing we're gonna try to fix is these blurry things that we got here now we're gonna apply uh the setting but before we do that make sure your sim is closed okay what we're gonna do next is we will go into uh flight simulator uh, 2024 folder right so you can see the folder 
Uh, by the way, I will put the, the path into the description for the 2020 version and the 2024 version. For both, the, the step is, is, is identical, it's the same. So you go into the local cache folder and you go down below, you're going to see user CFG. And you're going to open this one with whatever you have, Notepad, Notepad++. Then we can modify the text inside, okay? So once you get it open, you're going to see something like this. And the line, one trick, just one line you're going to modify. It's this one. The secondary scanning, line 18 for me. Normally you have it set to 1, you want to set it to 2. Okay? Then you save. Don't try 1.5 or even higher. It will, the rendering will be, going to be weird, very weird. So 2 is the perfect number. Okay? So you're going to use 2. Cool. Once you apply the one trick settings, make sure you save it. And now we're going back to the setting just to make sure that we still have the same stuff, the LSS, ultra performance. Uh, by the way, quickly, uh, for the rendering, I'm, I'm on ultra. I'm on ultra on everything. The only thing that I changed is the air traffic and air, uh, airport quality because they are freaking annoying. So I just removed both. I also removed the motion blur. Motion blur, uh, when you move your mouse, kind of, uh, Kind of bring some stuttering, so I, I I did remove that. Otherwise, yeah, it's pretty much everything is in ultra. So that's my setting, okay? Because I'm using 4090, 13900K, and stuff. So I'm using ultra. But if you have something that is lower, make sure you adapt it, okay? That maybe use medium or or high or something else. So play with it. Now let's go into the sim, and as you can see, look on the the cockpit the data is you can read it it's not as blurry as before you can rewind the video a little bit to do a check but yeah it was not like this before right before the applying setting so that's really cool okay so if we go outside it gets a bit better as well quality wise so it's um it's usable right and this is good if your computer struggle a lot uh, with smoothness because you want to feel that the game is smooth you know you, you don't want to target a specific fps you want to feel it it's it's really the feeling uh, when you play when you play the game right uh, so that's good that in ultra performance we can uh, it's usable you can fly with it now let's take a look uh, quickly to uh, another version another level of the dlss we're going to try the quality mode, which is the, the, the mode that I use uh, on my on my system. So quality and it's 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 pretty clear. It's for me it's the best. I have performance, I have good rendering, and when I go inside, everything is pretty pretty clear. It's crystal clear. And just a quick check, the thing is what we usually notice with uh, the LSS is the ghosting when uh, your data starts to move. I'm just going to accelerate quickly the plane and see how the airspeed behaves. There is no ghosting. So it's like comparable using TA, but on the LSS. And you have your performance, right? So. That's the trick. That's the one trick. Okay, so let me know down in the comment if it did work for you. If you have a 4,000, uh, you shouldn't have any issue. If you have a 3,000 or 2,000, uh, let me know because I didn't try into those cards. The other things uh, to keep in mind is better is your native resolution, better will be the result. So if you have a 1080p, you're going to have some result. But if you have a 2K or 4K resolution or even higher, you're going to have a better rendering result. Okay. Smoothness, I don't know, but the rendering will be better. Cool. So that's it for now. I'm Captain Bosman. And hope to see you around, guys. See ya.